This is an audiovisual representation of a study published in the Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery in 2019. Rupture of the anterior cruciate ligament, or ACL, occurs in approximately one in every 3,500 individuals in the United States each year. While treatment for ACL rupture generally involves surgery, there is no general consensus on the optimal surgical repair method. To address this gap in research, researchers conducted a randomized controlled trial comparing the outcomes of three different ACL reconstruction methods with a 30-year follow-up. Between 1986 and 1988, 150 patients with acute ACL rupture were randomly assigned into one of three ACL repair methods, acute primary repair, acute repair with a synthetic ligament augmentation device, or LAD, and reconstruction with an autologous bone patellar tendon bone, or BPTB graft, with retention of the ACL remnants. The patients were then evaluated 30 years later. The researchers found no differences among the three treatment methods in range of motion, laxity, activity, function, or knee arthroplasties. Radiographic evidence of osteoarthritis was found in 42% of the operatively treated knees, with no significant intergroup differences. However, patients that received BPTB grafts underwent significantly fewer subsequent revisions, indicating lower failure rates for this method than for either primary repair or repair with an LAD. These results indicate that BPTB grafts may be more beneficial in a majority of patients. The findings from this study should be carefully considered in light of the recent resurgence in primary repair of ruptured ACLs.